G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to create a USB bootable distro through or in Linux Mint. Now what that basically means is I'm going to show you how to uh, put some sort of Linux distribution like Ubuntu or Fedora or whatever onto a USB that, that you can then use to boot up uh, another computer. So the best tool to do this is a tool called UNet Bootin. So you have to install it first, and the best way to do that is through the uh, just through the terminal. So type in Control Alt T to open open a terminal, and um, when you're in there, type in sudo apt-get install UNet Bootin. Hit enter, throw in your password. Mine's already installed, so there's not much of an output there, but I'll continue on. Now, after that's done, uh, locate that program in your applications menu. There we go, UNet boot in, open that one up. It will need root privileges to open, so it will show you, uh, ask you to throw in your password. I'll throw in mine. There we go. Now, from that point, uh, there's several options. You can uh, select a distribution to download from, uh, from the menu here. Let's see if we can find Ubuntu and then you can uh, select whatever version in whoops, Super OS, that's not a good example here we go, Ubuntu uh, you can select all the old Ubuntus or all the new Ubuntus let's just go for daily live 32-bit uh, now from that point uh, what you can do is move on and if you're going to download it don't worry about in adding a disk image of course and move on to the bottom line that asks you where you would like to uh, put that ISO file to that distro to whatever you do do not press hard disk that will erase your entire drive unfortunately so you have to actually go down to USB drive and then select the USB unfortunately I don't have a USB plugged in right now so that's horrible for this uh, tutorial but essentially you just click on the one that's there and click OK now you have to be aware sometimes um, there's more than one <coughs> USB device actually in your computer. For example, you could have your phone plugged in, a USB plugged in, even an SD card for the SD card readers. It's uh, it's listed in there too, so you have to know which one's in there. Best way to do it is to unplug everything except for the one USB you want to put in there. So do that. Now, uh, there is another way to do this. Instead of selecting distribution up the top, you can go down the bottom and select disk image and find an image that you've already downloaded. In my case, there is one on uh, my desktop, so I've got to go to Home, Justin, Desktop, and we'll see Ubuntu 12.04.1 Desktop, i386.iso. So that's uh, one I recently downloaded online. So from that point, uh, that's all right, that's all good. Leave it as ISO, of course, and USB, keep that there, and select the drive that comes up. It's just a series of letters and numbers. It's usually uh, named SBC1 or SDA2 or something like that. And then click OK. And then from that point, uh, that will install onto your USB uh, disk or drive or um, SD card or whatever you want to do. And then from that point, uh, boot it up to a computer and you can start installing a new computer from the USB. All right, cheers, guys. I hope that's been of some help to you. Ciao.